Hey everyone, welcome back to 10,000 Tacos. I'm Isidro Salas and welcome to this bonus episode. I want to, uh, first I want to apologize for not publishing episodes in the past couple of months. And you know, that it is something that I've been wanting to do. I do have some episodes that I'm going to be releasing in the next couple of weeks. Uh, one to do with burritos, the other one to do with change. But before we do that, I wanted to give you a quick update on some of the things that have changed and why uh, we are publishing this bonus episode. First of all, if you've been keeping up with the show or if you keep up with us on social media, uh, and my wife and I, we have moved to a different part of the country. We used to live in San Jose and now we've moved to Colorado and it has been a very challenging move and it's been very, very, very cold, but it also has been humbling because the steps we took to change and to move under these conditions of covid and trying to be careful during this pandemic the other thing is we have five cats and it's not that easy to move two cats and the alone five but that contributed but we finally settled in we are in our home and we're very grateful and that uh, we do have a roof over our head because uh, it's important you know a lot of people try to make moves and changes and and they run into stumbles and and we certainly had our share but we we have been very blessed and lucky to to finally settle in. So I have hooked up all my equipment and I've settled in and now I'm ready, ready to go and resume a lot of these episodes that I have already been planning. But I do want to give you another update. And that if you follow us on Instagram or on Facebook and Twitter, I try to promote the show as much as I can without getting too over promoting. And so I've been waiting for some sort of platform or something that could most likely jive with what I do. And I think that I found one and that it is an app called Clubhouse. It's a social network where you go into these, they call rooms and people are chatting and you go in there and if you raise your hand, they'll invite you up and you can speak about it. And I decided to get into there. And, but it was difficult because one, you need to have an iPhone operating system, the iOS. And so it's still in its early development and stages that it's only offered through iOS. I hope they open it up for Android or other operating systems, but for right now, it's just an iPhone. And what I've seen people do is get an iPad, you know, an old iPad or borrow somebody's unused iPad, and they get on that way. But once you're on there, it's like a lot of these other social media networks where they're just, you know, it's a little bit addicting. But I feel comfortable in there putting our message into that and start up conversations. And at first it was pretty daunting, right? It was, it's, you throw yourself out there and I would open up rooms and only a couple of people would show up. But those couple of people, we would get involved in some very engaging conversations and they revolve around tacos and not just the food, but the culture. A lot of the stuff that I talk about on our podcast, the uh, stories behind you know why the tortilla is so important in their family and they give an example and it has just been so inspiring and so much so that I want to get more involved in it. And I'm starting to see more of what I want to do with this show and this platform. And I'm finally there, right? I've been producing this podcast for about three, four, going on four years now. And it's grown steadily. I know that people have recommended it to others, and it's just grown incremental with minimal advertising dollars. I tried to do that early on, and it, it kind of worked, but it just didn't. That's not my style. And if you've been listening to the show, you know that I don't agree with putting advertisers on this show so that I can pay the bills. I would much rather take a side job or do something else. Uh, and kind of fund it that way. And my wife, of course, is very supportive because she also works full time and she helps to fund the show. So we, we're we going to keep that promise. We're going to fund it ourselves as much as we can. And, I, and I'm grateful that many of you, when my father passed away, 
did contribute some and, and thank you very much for that and and not just contribute a few of you also said hey you know if i can't give then i'll buy something out the website and which you did and that was awesome too but i think it's time i ask i finally have a good ask of you guys because here's my plan And it's our plan, actually. If it gets bigger, I'm going to share it with all you guys. And this is what I want to do. I want to expand this show. And I want everybody who believes in it to start telling people even more. So if you told people about it, tell more and encourage them to tell people. Because I want the show to get big enough to where we start landing the struggling taqueros, the small businesses, when we start taking them in as guests... That's how they'll be able to promote their locations and their spots. And I believe it's a win-win, right? You hear stories from people who are resilient, people who are cooks, people who are immigrants, people who have struggling problems at home in their communities, yet they still go out and sell tacos, burritos, tortas, enchiladas. And it doesn't have to be Mexican food. Some people own delis and they're struggling. But I love their stories and their stories need to be told. And if we could expand the shows enough to where more and more people are listening. So, for example, if if we have a lot of listeners in Los Angeles and we bring on people, you know, struggling business from Los Angeles, then they can turn around and tell them the the audience, well, this is our product. And hopefully that you guys go visit them. That's how you support the show. But it only happens if it grows and it only happens if people start noticing that, hey, we have something going. Here's my internal mission. Here is my why. This is finally why it's important to me to get this show out there. My mission is to elevate the word taquero and put it up there with executive chefs. Because a taquero is an artist. A taquero is a chef. And they're just not making tacos. A lot of these taqueros are raising families, are working multiple jobs, plus selling tacos on the weekend somewhere. They're cutting some people's grasses. They're cleaning homes. And a taquero just isn't a male. It's a female as well. Taqueros and taqueras. And we need to raise that level of the word taquero and put it up there with the likes of executive chefs. I know it's a bold idea, but I believe it can work. I believe we are the ones that should be telling the stories of these taqueros so that they get the acknowledgement and hopefully the kudos so that their businesses could prosper. That's why I'm here. It's taken me several years to figure it out and i am very very passionate about it so that's the one thing i'm gonna ask and i'm gonna continue asking and i you know i don't know if i'll beg but i will i i believe in it and i need that our audience believe in it as well because we are the ones that need to tell those stories and so getting back to clubhouse this app i've been getting on there starting rooms and the discussions have been very enlightening and they're going the way i thought they would be we're opening up these discussions to things bigger than just tacos an example of where we had one is the tortilla is the star where we talk about what the tortilla means to you and several people jumped on there and they were talking about how they remember their abuelitas making tortillas i told the story of a good friend of mine whose whose mom when she passed away i said that remember she you know when someone like her passes away you know it's like a tortilleria closes its doors forever and people resonated with that other people told us about you know is it flour or is it corn and you know we just gotten the this room, we got into just what it means to have a tortilla and their discussions and their stories. 
so I want to make it big in there. I want to elevate this taquero word, and I want to use this platform to do that. So I ask if you do have an iPhone or an iPad to sign up. And uh, right now, it's a, an invitation only. And, and when you sign up, and if somebody lets you in through an invitation, then you you get two invitations on your own. And I hope they increase that. But in, eventually, I think that this platform is going to get bigger where anybody could get in there. But uh, it is young. Uh, it's been around, I think, a little bit over a year. But I think it's starting to hit its masses. Uh, and it's not just about talking about tacos. I mean, you get in there and it's like anything else. There's people talking about entrepreneurship. There's people talking about executive coaching. Uh, there's people talking about uh, all kinds of other things. And the other thing I've been able to do is, is I've been hesitating. People have been people close to me have been telling me, hey, you should do your podcast in Spanish. I understand it. Uh, and I've always been embarrassed, but I've been jumping into these rooms in Spanish and I raise my hand and they call me up and I try my best and it has been helping me <laughs> improve my Spanish so much so that I think I'm going to try and do this in Spanish. So as you can tell, I'm very, I'm very animated. I'm very excited of what's to come again. We're going to keep releasing episodes, uh, about, you know, what, what has started the show and, and the stories behind that. I do want to increase. I want to ask you again to please pass on the show. Tell people about 10,000 Tacos. Tell them about the podcast. Tell them about me and encourage them to share their stories one way or another, whether it's sending us an email, uh, comments at 10ktacos.com or signing up for Clubhouse and following us there and, and starting a conversation, helping us shape this. I do believe that together we can do it. We could help other businesses. And it starts with trying to help elevate the word taquero and put it up there so people recognize that it is in a, a profession that when kids grow up, they go, I want to be a taquero. Uh, that would be wonderful. So anyway, I've taken enough of your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for continuing to support the show. Please spread it. And, uh, and again, working on another episode. Thank you very much. I hope you have a very wonderful day wherever you are at. And yeah, I am the proud son of a taquero. We'll see you next time. In case you didn't know. Yeah. I'm riding through the city with the top down. With the type of energy that you can't knock down. It's that time of the year we will not frown. Telling all my enemies that they should calm down. Oh, no, I got God with me. Oh, cinnamon, eggnog sipping. Oh, in case you didn't know, this that California snow. Oh. Sunshine and snow, and it's falling like oh, 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 oh. California hit me.